So we did a thing. We needed a livestock guardian dog. So we have a lady down the road who just happens to breed them. Um, she breeds mostly Sarplaninax, but this is actually a Sarplaninax mix with an Anatolian. She's 13 months old, her name's Abby, and she's going to keep our goats safe and happy. Uh -oh. You got the gate? Mm -hmm. Okay. They are definitely curious. you guys who don't yet have chickens and you're wanting to know you know what what type of chicken to get what you want um you know characteristics of all if you want noisy chickens if you're worried about your neighbors throwing a fit or whatever americanas 
yeah that's the noisy chicken uh you can hear the squawking going on behind me the only reason you just hear one doing it is because there's only one in there right now they do that non-stop they're the noisiest chickens i've ever been around uh your white coachings they'll make some noise sometimes uh silver lace wine dots never i've never heard one make a peep but yeah if you want to avoid noisy chickens stay away from the americanas for sure okay Let's turn this around here all right what i've done is i've just temporarily stuck my slide up here to give me some sort of guide to set these up here i'll attach these and i'll put my boards on the top of them to kind of cover it up make my slide and i'll take this back out cut it to length and drill me a little hole for a stop you know that kind of thing but this i've been needing to do this for a while i've just been putting it off finished now i just need to drill a hole let's see Be done. Okay, that should work. Um, it's a small hole. All the chickens can get in and out. The roosters, it'll be kind of snug, but I want it to be no bigger than it has to be. If I have to, I can make it a little bit taller. Um, I just, I'm trying to keep the turkeys out during the day. They get in there, they break the water nipples off, they eat all the food. Um, these, five turkeys that we have right now can eat about 40 pounds a day of, uh, of food. They're going to live off of grass and bugs and all around. I'm just going to sit here and just pour that much food into them. Um, so this way the younger chicks can still work out of the feeder, get plenty of feed. Turkeys can stay out, but they still get to go in there at night and roost. It just wasn't working out putting them in the trailer. Um, I can open the door in the mornings, let everybody out, close it. The chickens can go in and out of here. Once they figure it out. Um, and then in the evening, I'll come back and open this up and everybody can go back inside. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works. It's not pretty, but hey, this was free. Um, this was, the whole thing was made out of just scrap stuff I had left laying around. So we'll see how it works.
So we can see the hens have no problems going in and out. Uh, rooster over there, it's a little bigger. Uh, he has to duck his head a little bit, but he should be able to go in and out. But the turkeys, that's a wrap for the turkeys. No more going in there during the day and messing everything up. Ellie's inside the camper throwing a fit. She heard us drive up. She's gonna get a big surprise when she comes out. <laughs> <laughs> 